Hi, everybody. I'm Randy Weingarten. I'm the president of the AFT, a union of 1.7 million members. And today I have an amazing announcement to make. We have settled with the new Department of Education, with the new president, our lawsuit on PSLF, the lawsuit we brought against Betsy DeVos because she was so terrible about so many things, but really terrible about how she dealt with public service loan forgiveness. And I'm standing here, sorry, I'm so excited today, but I'm standing here with three borrowers and three members, two of whom are going to have their debts completely discharged because of this settlement. I'm here with uh, Debbie Baker, with Dr. Jessica St. Paul, and with Peter Hook, and, we, and they will talk in a minute. But I just wanted to tell you, we've settled this lawsuit. And what this means is that every borrower who, has, who believes that they've been, you know, who applied for PSLF, I want to read the settlement correctly, or temporary PSLF, and were denied, including those who had fell loans, they are going to have everyone, not just our members, every one of them are going to have a process so that if they believe the denial was wrong, they're going to have a process for it to be reviewed. Something we said that Betsy DeVos should have done, she refused to do, but Secretary Cardona is doing. And on top of that, in the next 90 days, everyone who was denied PSLF, our members, everyone else, before November 2020, they're going to have an automatic review. It means that this program, between the changes that were made last week by the Department of Education and our settlement, it means that if you made 120 payments, if, you, if you're working in public service, and you made the 10 years of payments, 120 payments, then the promise made to you in 2007 by the Congress and the President, the promise made that you'll work in public service for 10 years, the rest of your, your loan is going to be forgiven, that promise is going to be delivered on. I'm so excited because we've been able to work with this new administration to get this promise fulfilled and to make sure that those loan services don't get the runaround anymore, that we don't have this kind of Kafkaesque or Gordian knot not anymore about all this stuff. And I'm so, so pleased that I can be with three borrowers, three AFT members who are going to be helped by what we have done. This is solidarity in action. This is collective action. This is election mattering. Elections mattering, but it's also that we had, and these amazingly, amazingly brave plaintiffs and advocates had the temerity to put their name on a lawsuit, to put a face on this, and to fight the terrible bad loan servicers and that last Betsy DeVos administration. So I'm going to turn it over to Debbie first, <laughs> and then I guess we're going to Jessica, and then Peter. Um. My name is Debbie, and I'm just a school teacher from a small school district. Please never say just a school teacher. She's a school teacher. Well, but the last administration made me feel uh -huh. like I didn't matter, but AFT did not. So when they stepped up to the plate and I jumped into the work that they were doing, it, it has literally changed my life. It's restored my faith and how to work together for good. And this is a fantastic day and a day that I never thought would happen. So we are so appreciative, we're so excited, and we just thank AFT and Celine Dienge for all the work that they did. And all these teachers need to go take advantage of this. You work hard every day. Take advantage of this. Thank and you. Debbie, thank you. Celine Dienge, you rock. Lena, our lawyer, you rock. Faith Gay, you rock. Thank you to that amazing law firm for helping us and bringing this case. Let me go to Peter, another of our named plaintiffs, and then I'm going to go to Jessica uh, St. Paul, who is going to knock your socks off with her advocacy. Peter. 
My name is Peter. I'm a continuing lecturer at the University of California, Santa Barbara. And I am actually very, very happy that my story is going to help so many thousands of people. I never, you know, when, when I lost my voice, when I lost my power because of the, the things happening within PSLF, I was so excited to hear about AFT survey and filling it out and being able to uh, take it a step at a time. And I just think it's wonderful. Great. Thank you, Peter. And thank you again to both Debbie and Peter. Look, I, I've said this earlier. If you're a public official, you expect the slings and arrows of when you put your name out there. But, you know, if you're not, it's pretty um, treacherous these days to put your name on a lawsuit. And it was really important to have both of your names on it and to have your stories out there, um, even when the department could, you know, thrust a lot of shade at you. But thank you very, very, the old department, not the new department, <laughs> did that. Mm -hmm. Jessica. Hi, I'm Dr. St. Paul. Um, I am an AFT member. I'm a physician assistant, public health practitioner, and I'm extremely excited about being here today, being able to hear about the settlement. But I want to make sure I urge all members, as an AFT member, I'm an adjunct faculty member at that. Just want to make sure I make that clear. I'm an adjunct faculty member and an activist within AFT. We don't always talk about student loan debt. I know the struggle. We know the struggles. And today is a really, really big day for everyone. I am urging everyone, all of our members, non-members, all public servants, as a physician assistant and as an educator, I know what we need to do. I know the work that we've done. This past year and a half has been more than everything. So now that we've made promise to our community, the government is making a promise to us and they're starting today. So I'm urging everyone, if you're not a member and you can't be one, I always say this, please become one. If it wasn't for AFT, Randy, the fact that you stepped in front of student loan debt when we had no one, no one was willing to do that but AFT, that to me was everything. This shows a day that union matters, collective, collective action through our union, it would have never happened. And so now we are on the death, on our path to public service loan forgiveness. So thank, thank you, Ray. we did it. We did it, we did it. <laughs> So I just want to say we got lots of information about how this works. Um, you can see it and the Chiron right underneath me, the information, the detail. But also, if you're an AFT member, go to Summer in the AFT website because we're going to help you make sure that you file the right papers. That's a free service for everyone. And look, the bottom line is this. I'm older than all of these amazing people. I remember my last, I was, my, my last um, student loan payment, I, I had one of those book booklets and I went through the booklet and I remember that last payment. Mm. We need to make sure, I remember the freedom that I felt when I didn't have that payment every month to, for, the, for the college, for the law school that I went to. I remember that freedom. I remember all of a sudden having other choices that I could make in my life because I didn't have to pay that monthly debt for going to college, for going to law school. This is what this is about. Public service loan forgiveness was about if you went into the public service after 10 years of paying your debt, the rest of it would be forgiven. Today, that promise that was made to every single public servant, our members and otherwise, that promise has been redeemed by the lawsuit that these brave, brave, brave plaintiffs and the AFT took. This is a really amazing moment. Thank you, Joe Biden. Thank you, Secretary Cardona. Thank you to our lawyers. And thank you to the amazing educators, nurses, and other public servants um, in America.